Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just showing you an app called the Garmin Explore app that you can use to send GPX files that you've downloaded to your compatible Garmin GPS device. This app is on my Android phone. It does work on an iPhone as well. And the sort of um, devices that this is compatible with in the new range of Garmin handheld GPS devices, something like the GPS Map 65, 65S device. You've also got the Garmin GPS Map 66, 67 series and Montana 700 devices. Some of those devices are compatible with the Garmin Connect app, which you can also use, but something like the GPS Map 65, 65S, you can't use with the Connect app. So the Explore app is a nice way to get GPX files onto your device when you haven't got access to a computer. So as long as you've got your device already paired with the Explore app, it's a case of if you've been sent a GPX file from somewhere, um, like an event that you're doing, it could be something like the Montane Spine event um, that we do in the UK, and I'm going to use those as an example. So something like the Montane Spine, the organisers, when they've got the GPX files ready for the event, will send you a page with a link of where you can download them from. They'll often send them split into sections if you're doing the longer routes or the full um, routes. I do tend to find the smaller sections go across quicker when you're using the apps to transfer them to your device. So I tend to import the smaller sections when they split them into example start to checkpoint one, checkpoint one to checkpoint two, etc. So what I'm going to do first is just open up my Explore app and on my Explore app I've got a little devices icon, the fourth one along at the bottom. When I touch on that it shows you any of the GPS devices that I've had paired with the app. So if you've already paired your device with the app, I'm going to use my GPS map 67. So if I touch on my GPS 67 device, it has an option called sync settings. So this is a folder or what they call a collection that any GPX files you import, it's then always worth, you should copy them into your sync folder so they all sync across together. So it's always worth creating a sync folder first. So if I touch on sync settings, you can see rather than syncing everything, which can take an age and not always work if you've got absolutely loads of stuff within the app, I've selected sync selection and I'd already created a collection called GPS map 67i sync. So if I actually touch on the icon, second one along that looks like th um, three black lines, this is where you can create a collection. So what I'd basically done is I'd selected add, create new collection and called it GPS map 67 sync and then just said OK. So I'm just going to cancel that one and just scroll down the page and you will actually see I've got the folder here called GPS map 67i sync and the icons you can see the, the icon that looks like a person is any activities that I've recorded that have been synced across. They won't go back across to your device once they're on here. The flag symbol is any waypoints. The two drawn pin symbols is any routes. The one where it's like a curly line is any courses. And the footprint symbol is tracks. So I've got a sync folder created. So now what I'm going to do is close the app down for a second and I'm just going to go to my downloads on my phone where I've downloaded some GPX files from the Montane Spine link that I was sent. So I can see in the list here I've got some that say start to checkpoint one. It's for the Northern um, Challenger. I've got a checkpoint one to checkpoint two, checkpoint two to checkpoint three, etc. So I'm just going to touch on my start to checkpoint one one but what i'm actually going to do it on an android phone it's the three black dots to the right hand side on an iphone it's sometimes a case of when you hold down on a downloaded file your iphone will prompt you to what app do you want to share with this sometimes on an iphone you get the square box with an arrow up symbol and you're going to say share with the garmin explore app on my android phone if i touch on the three black dots and select open with us if you get the option depending on your phone share with on my phone i'm going to use open with it will depend on your phone and then you would search for the apps that you want to use i can actually see my explore app here so it tells me it's imported it and what it actually does is create a collection a folder with the name of that actual um, gpx file that i've imported so i will now have a folder or collection called start check to checkpoint one 
2024 Winter Spine Challenger North. So if I select done now, we can now see the footprint symbol. That means it's been imported as a track. And what I can do here, if I touch on the edit at the top, I can touch on it and I can add it to, if I say add to, I can then add it to the folder that I'm going to use as my sync folder. So my GPS map 67i sync folder. So it's now still in this folder, but if I hit the back arrow now and using this icon three lines second in from the left, I can scroll down to my sync folder just to show it's in there touch on the sync folder and it's actually the one at the top there so again i can touch on it shows me the distance 69.7 miles <coughs> now we can see it as a track what i sometimes find when you're syncing stuff across from the explore app if you change it to the new format that garmin call a course i find it does sync across seem to sync across quicker it's something you can experiment with yourself but if i do change it to a course by touching on the three red dots at the top and saying copy as course and it's saying do i want to add it to the sync folder so yes i do now i've got it as a course what i tend to do is i go back out into the folder and i find the track again which is the footprint symbol and i'm going to touch the three dots at the top and select delete so i'm only syncing the course across the course is the symbol that looks like a squiggly line with the two dots at the end for some reason i do find that the courses sync across quicker daft as it seems it loads the same way on your unit as a line to follow and navigate with but it just means on my gps device when that syncs across if you check find tracks and you haven't got it in the tracks menu you're going to go find courses on your gps unit or use the magnifying glass if it's a montana 700 series unit so that's basically how i've imported that in i'll just do one more as an example so i'm just going to close this down and go back to my files so if i look at my next one up which is checkpoint one to checkpoint two touch on the three black dots on an iphone you may just have to hold down on the gpx file whatever you normally do to share a download with another app on your phone and then you're going to select the either share with or open with depending on your phone i'm going to pick the explore app again and again this one will create a new collection with the name checkpoint one to checkpoint two so i can say done and what i can do again here is edit this one and just add it to the sync folder that i've created if you want to create just a folder just for the montane so you've only got a small number of things in there and select that as your sync folder that would work quicker but bear in mind the garmin Explorer app will remove other courses off your unit because it's looking at what the only things that you've got in that sync folder so if i select the sync folder it tells me at the bottom that it's now added to the sync folder so i'm just going to say done at the top there and now if i touch on the three lines again second icon in I'm just going to go to the sync folder and do what i did before touch on the sync folder i'm going to touch on the footprint symbol one at the top touch on the three red dots at the top and say copy as course and select copy say yes to add it to the sync folder and if i just hit the back arrow to come back out at the top and then i'm actually going to delete the footprint symbol now by selecting it three red dots at the top and delete and that means i've now got those two courses in i'd continue doing it with any others that i wanted to sync across and then when i'm ready i go to the symbol fourth one along which is the gps device touch on the gps map 67i or whichever gps device you want to sync and you can see the little circle at the top right of the screen where it's spinning round sometimes you just have to refresh by swiping down and touch on the sync and at the bottom i can see it tells me it's syncing across to my gps map 67i the length that it takes will depend on how many things you've got in that folder that you're syncing across you could create a brand new sync folder just for an event like the montane spine and then all you would do on the actual gps device when you select it from the devices and select it and go sync settings and you touch on the folder you want to sync to you would then pick just a single folder that you've created say for the montane and you may find that syncs across quicker
But we hope you found this video useful on using the Explore app and just a little bit of insight into creating some collections and folders, importing GPX files into it to then sync across to your compatible Garmin device. And thanks for watching.